Hello out there, YouTube. What's going on, everyone? It is D-Dunn here, Average Gaming Dad. have a nice little 21 kill solo gameplay for you guys today. And I'm using some off-meta guns. I'm using the FJX Horus with the conversion kit, as well as the Holger 5.56. Now, um, both these guns are, are good, um, but they're not quite in the meta. They're not the everyday guns. Um, but the Horus, for example, with the conversion kit, it kills just as fast as the static, as long as uh, the static doesn't get a headshot, so it's very competitive short range. Um, the only thing is, is that it is a little slow and cumbersome, so the movement's kind of poor on it, so that's kind of what takes it out of the meta. It's not really the time to kill. It's just how clunky it is. It's got a 60-round mag, so it's good for you know, solos, duos, cool. well, if we had duos and trios, uh, but, you know, it's good for any game mode. It's got decent strafe speed. It's just, it's cumbersome to use and to and to use movement, especially compared to something like the Supuri or the Static. So that's why it's not meta. Then you have the Holger 5.56. It's pretty accurate. Um, it's time to kill is pretty good. It is, again, in the range of a competitive time to kill, but it only has a 40 round mag, and the bullet velocity isn't great. It's around like 800, 850. So again, it's not bad. It's not like you're gonna get outgunned a lot of the time, but if you run against you know a player that's pretty good or of the similar skill level, and they're using you know the D tier, the 30 out six, and using the Holger, like yeah, you might lose that gunfight. But how is that any different than any other gunfight you lose uh, off a of ground loot or whatever? Uh, point being, you can use off-meta guns and still get good gameplays. Obviously, the people I'm playing against here are not the best players. Um, and you know the better of a player you are, the gap between you and what you would consider a bot lobby um, grows a little bit. Um, but obviously, these guys weren't the best players, um, so that helped as well. Um, but just want to reassure everyone out there, you don't have to use the same guns over and over again. Um, in fact, what I would recommend is for everyone who watches this video, either go to the website True Game Data or download the True Game Data app. Uh, there you can plug in any gun and see its time to kill chart and you know how it rates compared to other guns in the game. So you can find some of these niche fun guns that are a little different, that aren't quite in the meta, but maybe you can play well with and maybe it'll refresh the game for you. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you think. If you guys have any gun recommendations, maybe there's a, a gun out there that you just love to use that no one else is using, drop a comment. Let me know. I'll give it a try. See if I can get a gameplay and post that for you. But um, otherwise, I just thought it was interesting, a gameplay where I'm not using you know, the hard meta gun. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, um, consider subscribing to the channel, leaving a like, leaving a comment, something like that. If you didn't like it, that's fine as well. I appreciate you stopping by and for your time. Uh, otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye. Thirteen with twenty seven left. Keep a couple contracts out there have increased payouts. Get to them first to cash out. Easy 20 right here. Did this guy see me? No. Gas is closing.
closing in. Get to the new safe zone. Okay, one more for 21. <laughs> GG's, baby! Yay! Solo 20 bomb. Shadow 1 is inbound for distraction. Take that. Visual on your mark. Hold on tight. Here comes the snap. Hook. There were so many kills around Fire Station, like towards the end there, but. Just couldn't get them all. Did we get 21 or 22? We'll see how you did. Speed and violence make a great team. No rest, but 21. Let's get back to work. Not bad.